sorry it's taking me a little extra time to get ready. Um, Lamia was being ridiculous, but it's handled now. Hello, welcome, Travis. I'm glad to know that Opal's, like, awake again. I was a little worried about her. <laughs> she did it so bad. She did it so bad. Um, but also, yeah, that's it's scary. <laughs> Suddenly having noise again in the house? Weird. Um. Hey. I'm exhausted. And it's fine. Um. I think I got some sleep last night, which I think is why I'm super tired. But we'll see. Um. Yeah. I don't have literally anything to say this morning. <laughs> uh, other than hello and welcome. We're gonna, we're gonna do some witch wood, which I am very excited about. I need something mellow after how eventful the weekend was. <laughs> um, I think we have three souls left. No, maybe just two. Cause we got, we did, Eva, leave her alone. Um, we took care of the wolf, and we got rid of the pigs. So I think it's just the stag and... Who's the other one? The hawk? <gasps> Hi, Cyril. Hi, friend. How's it going? How are you doing? Are you still green? I think I saw that you were still green. <laughs> but how are you doing post subathon Are you... I saw that you were awake super duper early. You... <laughs> baby time, baby time, baby time. What are we gonna name our baby, Cyril? What are we gonna name our Twitch baby? Also, nine dang months? I am, uh, I mean, this is just kind of how it is anytime I see that somebody has subbed for a significant amount of time, but it's still wild to me that I have known that I've known any of you for as long as I have. Um, holy shit. Alright. <laughs> Thank you for the sub, Cyril. I appreciate it. Also, nine months. We got a Twitch baby in chat. And that... Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. I don't have followage up. Um, I might be able to set that up real fast, though. Maybe? I don't know how to do that right now. I don't know how to do that right now. I think you and I have followed each other for about the same amount of time. So a little over a year? Uh, probably? Maybe? I don't know. I'll get it set up because I am also curious. I just don't think that was one that I like transferred over when I was um, setting up my bot. Which I am now transferring them over again. But it's fine. It's just time consuming. Um, but yeah, thanks, friend. I think Mommy is back here, right here, loudly licking herself. Well, not anymore because I pointed it out. Um, <laughs> same. I was also putting off moving chatbots so hard, but now I'm like, I started doing it and I understand it. And the one that Smiley recommended, uh, Touch Portal hella good hella good so far very easy to work with it's a lot to take in initially but like it makes sense and i understand it now um but hey if you want to have a a bot moving party at some point <laughs> hit me up we can just sit in the chat and scream at how ridiculous it is to have to move everything um yeah no seriously yes <laughs> behind the kimono group stream I mean I mean if we want to set something up I'm here for it I'm here for it um I am gonna like be working on my overlays uh over the next couple of weeks or so and I'd be down to just like stream that shit and be like look at look at how ridiculous this is look at all the things I have to do um but yeah we can we can plan something plan something, alright? Let's all plan something. Um. 
do, 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 do. What am I doing? Witchwood! I'm gonna go ahead and, like, move on over to the game. It's game time. We're gonna do game time now. Uh. But hi, friends. Welcome in. How's everyone doing? How are you? Oh, I guess I should probably, like, turn the sound on. Sound might help. Excuse me. Hiccups. You should be. It's a good game. It's a very good game. I would highly recommend people check it out and play it. It was very good. Um, What are we doing? What is happening? We are trying to water this? Our branchler? It's time to water the branchler, right? Because we're tracking down the rumpling. <laughs> these are these are words. <laughs> we need a growth potion. We've decided that the rumpling is not not a rumple stilt skin type character. It is actually just like a an elf with a big ol' ass that it likes to just throw back all of the time. Um, this is the cannon. Right. We need the apothecary humors, which I think I should be able to just make. Yes. Great. Uh, and then paste. Magic paste. We need cow milk. It's just a big bahooki, man. It's fine. It's true. Hi, Luna. How are you doing? <laughs> Just the biggest of Bahuki men. Uh, we need campfire ember. Understood. How is everyone? How are y'all doing? Hi, buddies. Um, I am late sleep. I am so tired, but like in an okay way. I'm just vibing. I think I got a little bit of rest last night after just, like, screaming into the void. Um, so that was nice. Well, glad you're doing doing alright. Happy about that. Where? I'm gonna get a fucking ember. Um, yeah. Makes me happy to see everyone doing okay. <laughs> I don't need any of this, but I'm gonna grab it anyway. We're gonna get it anyway. Um, oh, I was gonna check to see how many souls we have left. No, we definitely have two. Yeah, we have the stag and the hawk. Okay. Um. <laughs> you po are you poking around my wish list? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, Cyril? Um, yeah, I got a lot of weird shit on there. <laughs> Reminder, I do have a throne wish list. If you want to send me le nice, lovely gifts. But also, you don't- you absolutely do not have to. <laughs> let me- let me just remind you. Not necessary. Perceiving is fine. That's fine. It's there to be perceived. Sir, can you not be all up in my grill while I'm trying to find stuff? Thank you. Um, there's a lot of, yeah, there's a lot of wild stuff in there. I think I, like, recently trimmed it down a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. I know, I also know that Thrones added a bunch of, like, new features that I desperately need to go through. Um, and, like, check out. <laughs> You want those good surround sound dudes, right? <laughs> I don't know if that worked. Uh, I don't think I have have the full surround on my microphone right now, but hey, whatever. It's fine. It's whatever. <laughs> Why are there so many things over here? Have I been, like, breaking logs and not collecting items from it? That very well may be the case. Um, I need embers, though, so I can make a jar so I can get some milk. I need some milk. Uh, yeah. And then we can make 
this growth potion, and then we can maybe, maybe call the rumpling into existence. It's gotta get the rumpling, right? We need to know how rumpy that rumpling is. doing or saying at this point. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> it's fine. Everything is fine. I can make this now, though. All I need is the... M no. Yeah. Just milk for the paste for the growth potion. You spelt it wrong. You did, you did it wrong. Isn't it just KY? Isn't it just... <laughs> okay, alright, alright, I see, I understand. Also, twigs. Always gotta get the twigs. Because we never have enough twigs. Ever. Ever. Just want it here. Why did I hear that in my brain? Like, <laughs> like uh, the Chia Pet song? Ch -ch -ch Chia. B -b 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 oh. I want those stupid little gnomes grumbling over there. Hi, cow. Let me steal your milk, cow. Yes, there's chickens. <laughs> Let's get them! Also, are you ready for this? I have squeezed an egg out of that chicken. <laughs> this stuff, these chickens are so goddamn loud. Alright, just give me your eggs and let me run. <laughs> um, I cannot stress enough how good art and everything in this game is it's true chickens are always too loud always but again i cannot stress enough how how football shaped they are they're the perfect perfect size to just punt you ever want to get rid of a chicken just punt it <laughs> The top of your foot and the like the outside of the, the chicken breast area perfectly matched they fit together so well for maximum launching chicken getting yeeted into oblivion mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> <Cyril>. <laughs> it's just it's just baby chicks very cute precious baby chicks don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, not the pumpkin. I am stuck. It's fine. Everything is fine. Round. You love us a good chick. All right. Um, get out of here. Can I collect all of the things? Hooray. Did make the growth potion. Great. Yeet that potion on there. Let's go. You drip the invigorating fertilizer on the stumpy branch and it shakes with energy. Ground trembles as roots rip out around your feet. What the fuck are you? We found the rumpling. We have located the rumpling. You find yourself looking up <laughs> at an odd little house that has grown out of the flower bud. An even odder little man sits on the porch glaring at you. <laughs> He's a very <laughs> rumpling alert. He is a very hairy rumpling. Um, this is not what I was expecting. <laughs> He's just a little guy. Oh, Lord. Oh, will 
will you just leave me be? I don't know how you managed to track me down, but please just go away. Hold on now, you've led me on quite the merry, uh, merry goose chase. You are the rumpling, are you not? He sighs and cleans the smudge off his spectacles. Congratulations, you caught me. The story is true then. I've caught you and now you must grant me my weight in gold. There is so much hair and nose. Curse that stupid legend. Look, sorry you came all this way, but I don't do that stuff no more. I'm retired. These days I'm more into woodworking. Wouldn't you rather have a cute little birdhouse instead? I know a ma magical contract when I hear one. I found you fair and square, so cough up the gold, shorty. Ha! <laughs> Too bad! I threw my alchemist stone into a bottomless lake. Not that stone to make gold, I'm as poor as a pauper. Why would you do that? Why'd you think? Because villains like you kept on tr uh, kept on trying to shake me down for money. All that rotten stone ever did was bring me misery. Well, I'm not leaving empty-handed. If you created the alchemist stone in the first place, you must know how to make another. He blinks at you with his magnified eyes. You want an alchemist stone of your own? <laughs> well, okay. It's your funeral, lady. I've still got the distilling equipment in my workshop. Just bring me these ingredients to make a new alchemist stone. He notes down a list of magical uh, reagents. We have enough crystal newt spines. We need that golden egg, and we need the alchemical alloy. Which I vaguely remember how to make. Not enough to, like, know how to do it off the top of my head. We need a puzzle box and some more silver fox fur, but to do that we need a treat, which means we need the soporific morsel, which means I need some more water. I need water. We need water. We do need egg. I have been I have been eyeing that old golden goose egg for a while now. Golden egg is egg time. Let's go. <laughs> um, <coughs> excuse me. There was a little uh, water pump over here, wasn't there? Yeah, a well. Not really a well, but you know, same thing. Uh, soporific potion. Which we use for the soporific morsel, which we use to make a frozen treat. Um, and that is how we'll get the alloy. How do I make. Put the eggs are back because we need one to do a murder? Look, are they bad or are we just getting creative? <laughs> Seriously though, Cyril? Absolute goddamn champ. You tried so hard and I think, <laughs> I don't think any of us were expecting you to. Yeah, just like last night. <laughs> Thanks, Peaches. <laughs> Happy birthday, you sweet little raw chicken, you. Honestly, though, Cyril's a badass. Let me tell you all the ways. And by all the ways, I mean I'm just gonna say that Cyril's a badass and leave it at that. Because we should all know at this point. What am I doing? <laughs> Golden egg. That's what. Okay. Yeah, look, look. I know I know some people doubt it. I know some people doubt it. Your your hatred, your absolute disgust towards eggs. I had no doubts. I had none. And the fact that you did it and you wholeheartedly tried to do it speaks volumes about how cool you are. So, you know. No! Pick that up. Well, that sounds like a you problem, Tori. <laughs> Hi, friend. How are you doing? How's it going? Um, where the hell is this goose? 
It's in the market, not the village. That's the issue here. I'm in the wrong place. <laughs> I can. We can. We can, though. I did? What are you gonna do about it? You've come back! So, good. Cry. Give me your tears. Give me your tears, Tori. It's fine. It's all fine. Look! Nails! Get away from me, thief. <laughs> but also, please don't cry. I mean, sure, a bottle would make it much easier for me to, to collect. But, you know, however, however works. <laughs> for witchcraft. I need, I need your tears for witchcraft. Gamer boy tear water, let's go! <laughs> let's fucking go! I need a glitter bomb for a goose. This seems incredible. Uh. <laughs> look look i just collect tears so i can give the salt to smiley okay not, a, not into a bag of pissy chitties not the p oh <laughs> I also cry when Cyril doesn't see the TikToks that I send him. Not that I've sent many over the last couple of months. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> right? <laughs> um, what am I doing? Glitter bomb. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> No, no struggles to exist. Get out of here, goose. Give me. I have fucked that goose up. <laughs> that is, that is, that is a lot. That's a lot of TikToks. Oh boy. Oh boy. Give me the nail. Give me this. We need to go steal some fur from the fox. Uh. <laughs> I just some sometimes sometimes I just can't be on TikTok all the time. <laughs> That would be a lot of TikToks. Don't do that to yourself. Eat shit! Give me your fur! Okay. I have what I need to make the alloy? And I have everything now, right? I do! I gotta go talk to the rumpling again. Shall we? Go say hello to all nose, all hair, rumpling man. Just our little guy. Doing doing his rumpling thing. Oh goodness. <laughs> That's gonna be the next 12 hour stream is Cyril opening up every single TikTok that we've all sent. <laughs> Look, I'd watch it. I'd hang out for that. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, no. No yawns. <laughs> First cosplay for that would be a clock with tiny hands. Not the tiny. But are the tiny hands also shitty hands? I couldn't with that goddamn hand. <laughs> that horrible tiny shit hand. 
<laughs> I did see the, the willow pick the print post and I appreciated the fact that you tagged me <laughs> after the fact to make sure that I could see it. <laughs> the tiny hand was so good, but it was also just so bad. <laughs> she was so baby. I fucking love Willow. I love peaches, but I also just love Willow. I love I love I love your cat. I love your cat. Oh. Uh, the rumpling's eyes light up at the sight of the alloy, and he rubs his fingers together in anticipation. I love your cat. Where are my cats? Hey, come here. You're awake now. Love her. Love her so much. Love her so much. Look at her. Ah! <laughs> You're just like, can you not? Can you not? You wanna sit here? Do you love me? Love. Yeah, so I took the cat redeems down because I or the cat updates down because A, I talk about my cats regularly enough, and also I'm pretty sure they were cursed and causing Lamia to be a piss baby forever. So <laughs> But if you wanna know how they're doing, they're all doing very good. Um Lamia hasn't pissed on things much lately, which is great. We love that for her. And she's doing much better as a whole. Okay. Cat, you're laying in my lap. Weird. Okay. Okay. I guess this is fine. This is fine. Uh, Devo is being such a crybaby lately. <laughs> Thank you for the clip, Cyril. Um, but yeah, she's doing much better, uh, which is great. We've got her on a weird diet and I've added extra cat boxes around to make sure that she goes in them and not on my bed, and it's helped. And she's back to being sassy and, and ridiculous and running around all the time. It's great. Well, running around when she's not sleeping. She still sleeps a lot. But that's that's because it's Lamia. Um, Devo is just sobbing all of the time, always, and I don't know why. I don't know why. But he's just distressed all of the time. Because <laughs> he's an anxious boy. And Farley is hanging out up here now just to steal Lamia's food. It's great. We love to see it. Uh, but yeah, they're all doing very well. <laughs> Bart! Farley! Bart's! Rare cat! Lamia, you got something on your tail? You've got food in your tail. You have food in your tail. Why is your food in your tail? What have you done? Hold on, sorry. Why have you done this? Why are you like this? Huh? Big long fart! Big long fart. He is the biggest and the longest fart. Mommy is now in my lap and is mad that I'm not petting her constantly. Well, I'm busy. I know, I, I did disrupt you. I am the reason that you are here. You can, you can deal with it. Um, but yeah, they're all doing very well. <laughs> um, I've still got the distilling of weight. Yeah, we know this. We know this about you. The rumping lump rump rip 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 rip. The rumpling looks away from the newt's spine, gesturing vaguely to the ground beside him. He lay it nearby. Golden egg! You pass the golden egg into the hands of the rumpling, who receives it tentatively, as if he could hatch or as if it could hatch at any moment. Collecting all the components into his arms, the rumpling disappears into his little tree house. You can't tell exactly what he's doing inside, but the sounds and smells emanating from the chimney make you think it's better left unknown. He emerges some time later with singed eyebrows and foggy glasses. He definitely just, like, ripped a big, long fart. The rumpling definitely just went in there and tooted a bit. 
Eureka, I've done it! He holds out a glowing emerald with a pair of iron tongs. Here, <laughs> go ahead. It's yours. Thanks. You appraise the glittering jewel. It's abnormally heavy in your hands. Tooted of it. Toot toot. Very pretty. The little man's giggling abruptly stops and his face falters with disbelief. Oh. Hmm. What's the matter? You seem disappointed. I. Oh, it's nothing. This is just not what I was expecting is all. He strokes his beard thoughtfully. I guess I should have told you earlier, but there's a slight uh, curse to the stone. It can only be touched by one whose heart is free of avarice. How convenient of you to leave that part out. Since you went to all the trouble of tracking me down, I just assumed you were in it for the gold. Oh, I know. I don't care much for the wretched stuff. This gold is meant for someone else. Well, I gave you what you asked for. Our deal is done. Now leave me in peace. All right, all right. No need to be rude. I've got to bring this stone back to the millers. Hey, BG. Lamia is very happy. Look at all these goddamn twigs. Look at them. Look at them. How many twigs do I have? Because I'm curious. I have 40 twigs. We are twig rich, y'all. Never again will we be twig poor. We will forever remain twig twig rich. What is this? Where does this go? The old mill? Do I have to go to the mill or do I... Okay, you have to go to the mill. I can't read. Millers. The hawk will... Or you're back. The hawk will return with his goons any minute now. Don't worry, I've got a solution to your monetary problems right here. You hold up the alchemist stone proudly. Oh, that's a very fine jewel. But I don't think it will be nearly enough to satisfy the hawk. Just stand back and watch. All this grain is just waiting to be spun into gold. Do I... Oh, oh, I see. You place the stone into a barrel of grain and it melts through the kernels like butter. The barrel bursts under the weight of glittering golden coins spilling out onto the floor. Wow, it's a miracle! It's pretty alright. Do you, do you want do you want more? I can make more. Probably. You roll the alchemist stone into a bag of flour and mountains of golden dust rip through the canvas sack. How is this possible? I've never seen so much gold in my life! You touch the alchemist stone to a bushel of straw, and it instantly transforms transforms into a mound of sparkling riches. Amazing! I can't believe my eyes! Oh! <laughs> Before the millers can so much as count a single coin, the door crashes open. <gasps> Happy lurking! The hawk strides into the mill, flanked by a pair of guards cracking their knuckles. Time's up! Where's my money? Yeah, pay up, squirts! Master Hawk, not to worry, we've got your payment right here. His eyes open wide at the sight of the piles of gold strewn about the mill. Give me your fucking money! Don't have that as a sound alert, but I'll do it for ya. <laughs> Hold on a second, sorry. Lami is like li laying in my lap in the weirdest possible way. Hi. I was hoping to not have to cross my legs, but you are making me do that. Can I put my hand up here? What? But how? Never you mind how. This should be more than enough to cover the cost of the miller's debts and the deed to the property. Also, my window is extremely bright all of a sudden. It's fine. I don't understand, unless... No, it can't be. He points a hooked talon at you accusingly. You... You're the rumpling. There's no other explanation. Guard sees her! The two goons leap forward and grab you roughly by the arms. You're making a terrible mistake. Just take your money and leave these good people in peace. Um. Give it to <laughs> I can appreciate the cat in my lap when it's comfy. She can't appreciate being in my lap if I'm comfy, though. Can I have my hand back, please? Um. Don't place 
smart with me, imp. I know how the legend goes. I've caught you, and now you must give me my weight in gold. <laughs> I'm rich. I'll lock you up and squeeze you for every penny you've got. I'll be the wealthiest hawk in the entire kingdom. No, the entire world! Now, pay out my first installment, rumpling. He outstretches his hand towards you greedily. As you wish. Jingle the alchemist stone out over his palm. <laughs> I mean, she's 100% neurodi neurodivergent. We know this. We know this about her. Don't he? My sweet little stroke baby. Hi. <laughs> it is confirmed, though. Hi. You gotta sit like a weirdo. No sooner does the cold stone touch the hawk's skin than a brilliant flash of yellow light engulfs the mill. When the light fades, the hawk stands before you, transmuted into a solid gold statue. What magic is this? Horrified, the two soldiers beat a hasty retreat through the door. What happened? Is he okay? You tuck the stone safely back into your satchel and give the hawk statue uh, a pat. I think this should set you up nicely. Just don't go spending it all in one place. Thank you. How could we ever make this up to you? Live a rich and full life. That ought to be enough for anyone. You notice a stray feather glinting on the floor. Give me that feather. You pluck the golden feather and run your fingers along the gleaming barbels. It makes a sound like coins falling into a wishing well. The soul of the hawk. This is your payment. E this means we only have one soul left. We gotta go take care of the stag up in the mountains. It's mountain time. Wow. <laughs> um, which is great. I would like to explore that area since we haven't really. All things considered. Uh, hold on. We are short on embers. Does this mean are we? We're not gonna finish this today, are we? Or are we? What if I made my afternoon stream go a little longer? I guess we'll see how long it takes us to get back <laughs> to the uh, to the mountain, or like what all is required of us. Dang. That means we'll probably start Chicken Police on Wednesday. That is true, unless there is a 13th soul. Um, it did look like there were only four slots left in the thing that we're putting all of the souls in, but that doesn't really mean anything. Alright, where is a secret soul? There. Stay back, spirit. I have nothing you want. Look at how pretty that buck is. Keep your wits about you, boy. I'm just an old woman. Oh, so you are. My apologies. I can never be too careful traveling about the mountainside. Plenty of tricksters like to disguise themselves and play pranks on me. Uh, I meant no disrespect. I'm taken. What are you doing out in the cold anyway? Come to collect ice berries for my brother's coronation. Right. Um, he's going to be crowned king for the whole realm today. King? According to who? Uh, well, according to him, I suppose. He is the eldest after all. He says it's his destiny. Some days, I'm not so sure though. I feel like I should be doing more than just tending to the uh, castle's gardens. So he gets to be king and you get to pick berries till your fingers fall off? It's not so bad. I like the crisp air and fresh snow. There's something magical about the wilderness. Oh, but listen to me prattle on. I still need to collect the ice berries my brother requested. Very particular when it comes to, well, anything, really. A 
job shared is done twice as quickly. Let me help you before the frost bites. Why, thank you. I am getting a bit chilly. I'll need a few more ice berries. I like I like stat or I like Buck. Buck is cute. Come here. Come here. Come here. Any luck finding those ice berries? Oh, I need ten of them. Excuse me. That's fine. We have enough, but I should also probably grab more. I don't know if we really need any of these for crafting. We haven't, like... They've not been difficult to find as a whole, so it's fine. Yes, ice berries. Ah, just look at the wonderful bounty you've gathered. He gladly takes the berries from you and places them in his pack. It's no problem at all. The stroll through the brisk air was quite refreshing. If only my brother cared as much for the beauty of this place, so he'd be content staying amidst the nobles of his court. It should be... Uh, I should like to meet this brother of yours. He sounds like quite the ruler. Well, why didn't you say so? I'd be happy to invite you into the castle. The buck slips his arm out towards you in a gen gentlemanly fashion. You take it with your gnarled claws and nod. Let's be off then, shall we? What a sweet boy. Prince isn't accepting peasant, uh, peasant complaints. Scat, you old crow. How dare you speak to my guest with that tone? A apology, sir. I didn't know she was your guest. Don't apologize to me. I'm not the one you disrespected. R right. Uh, I'm sorry, miss. What I meant to say was, uh, welcome to the court of the magnificent and benevolent stag. Louder and with more pomp, please. I hereby welcome the Lady of the, um, the Swamp. Lady of the Swamp! To celebrate with us on this most auspicious day. The bequeathing of the kingdom of, to those whose antler, antlers reach the hithermost clouds and shine with justice and... That'll do just fine. Carry on guarding. R right. The buck turns to you and nods to his pack. I've got to prepare these berries for the ceremony and do some final uh, pruning in the hedge maze. I'll meet you inside. I can't just... Let's go. I guess I can technically control all of this with a single... With one hand. It's not as nice. <laughs> Lamia demands space pets, though. I must do what Lamia wants. All the pomp. More pomp! Take my hand back. I'm gonna take my hand back now, Mama. Okay. Oh, look at him! Uh, sitting upon a lofty throne, the prince looms over his court of nobles. Took too many tiny cakes. They can't outnumber the tarts. And where is my useless brother with those berries? Everything must be perfect for my coronation. I think I saw him slink off to the garden, sir. No doubt shirking his royal duties once again. Pogs, they always be pomping. Not the most pompous. Great. I do ever so much. I do ever so much for that little rascal, and he doesn't even bother to show me the respect I deserve. I should have had him exiled long ago. If only he weren't my brother. Fantastic idea, Your Grace. He will be shown the door as soon as the ceremony is concluded, I assure you. <laughs> my days of sharing the throne with that dandelion are almost over. It is best he lives out his days on the mountain. Lord knows it's where he belongs. Stag's eyes narrow suspiciously at a cluster of nobles. Speaking of my brother, are you three taking care of the statue in the hedge maze? Oh, uh, yes, your majesty, just as you requested. Don't you worry yourself, my lord. The nobles exchange hurried whispers, but you can't hear them clearly. I wonder what all the fuss has to do with a measly statue. It doesn't feel right. Perhaps I ought to take a look at it myself. Look at him! Uh, Tars aren't that impressive. <laughs> Praise the stag! Give me all of this.
chests. Great. You love to see it. Ah, there's our boy! Don't mind me just taking care of some last minute grooming. We love him. marble statue was a cracked and weather-beaten plaque. He wiped snow from the engraved slab and find that large chunks have been hewn away from it. Only a few words are still legible. Stag. Rightful heir and ruler. Revealed. Hmm. Choice of words is quite convenient for our royal aspirant. I wonder what the rest of the story has to say about the matter. Pick a tuft of colorful fur caught on the statue's raised hoof. Looks to be from a very expensive piece of clothing. Nobles of the court seem to have nothing but time on their hands. Perhaps some of them know the secrets of the statue. Black pieces. Okay. Time to go interrogate some nobles. Let's go! But I also kind of want to look around. I'm stuck. Is there anything here? No. Okay. That's fine. Nobles. Oh, nobles. Who <laughs> fighted her? <laughs> Do I have to fake pocket them? Troop serum. How do? Oh, no. Okay. So we need crow's foot. Unveiling powder. We've got enough unveiling powder. We'll need more of these. Then uh, that's all we really need, isn't it? Time to go. You want to sit back on the couch, Lamia? Put my foot to sleep. I love you so dang much. But you're kind of a turd. No. <laughs> She's wrapped up now. Look at her. bundled up in there. You want a clock? <laughs> sweet kitty cat. Good sweet baby. Okay. We need to go to the field so we can get some crow's feet. It's gonna be great. Don't even worry about it. The buck is the is the true ruler. Sweet as he is. Very ready to do a murder on this. This bad stag. Shall we do a dang murder on some dang crows? I assumed we need three of them. Uh, three truth serums, since there are three pieces? It's fine. We got it. It's all good. Where is... There it is. I can usually find my way around most of the other places, but the fields just... I get lost. It's fine. Mountain time. Time to go to the mountain. Okay. 
that's not where I want to go. I think of all the places that we've been, the mountain's probably, like, the prettiest? One of my favorites, I'd have to say. Noble woman snaps her fingers at you as you pass by. You there, freshen up my wine. Nodding politely, you dip your syringe into her glass and squeeze out a good amount of the purple liquid. She sets it with her nose high in the air. The broken plaque in the hedge maze. You know about it. The plaque? It's the last time I help out the stag, I'll tell you that much. He was whining about a prophecy or some such nonsense. He told me to get rid of a piece. Uh, get rid of a piece of that plaque for him. Or my finest winter muff trying to get to grips with the damnable thing. So I left it under the big tree in the middle of the hedge maze. Uh, someone that lives very far from mountains. I like them. I don't... I like mountains. And I've lived in them before. I guess it just depends on where and what the general conditions are. Where, where I lived when I was living in the mountains was... We got snow, but it was never, like, terrible. Um, it was just, like, nice, light, fluffy snow all the time. Or, well, during the winter, but very rare as well, so it wasn't, it wasn't like where we are now. <laughs> uh, you snap your fingers and the noble woman makes a disappointed frown. She pulls up her collar in a huff and rejoins the party as if nothing had happened. Yeah, no, I like that we slather a cracker with liver pate and drizzle some scintilla uh, scintillating serum over top. Soon enough, a no noble man licks his lips and indulges himself. What do you know about the statue in the hedge maze? The noble man scratches his chin absentmindedly. Oh, you mean the one the stag smashed up? I'm not really supposed to talk about it, but he told me to get rid of some chunk of marble. It's a terrible heavy thing. Anyway, I just left it behind one of the wooden benches in the maze. Did you really expect me to lug it all the way out of the castle? You snap your fingers and the noble immediately goes back to snacking as if nothing had happened. You stick your syringe into a plump macaron and offer it up to the nearest nobleman on a silver platter. He pops it into his mouth without even looking at you. The broken plaque in the hedge maze. Would you happen to know anything about it? The noble's eyes flutter and they speak as if conversing with themselves. Can you believe the audacity of the stag? He broke it. He should have been the one disposing the pieces. Well, I couldn't be bothered to do such menial labor. Can you imagine? So anyways, I just tossed my piece into the southeast corner of the maze. Next time he should get some of the servants to do his dirty work. Snap your finger at the noble. They sneer at you for a moment before returning to their wine as if nothing had happened. Thanks, y'all. All right, time to go get the pieces. Pub. But yeah, I just, I like the, I do really like the art from this game. And there's something about like the mountain area that is just particularly pretty. Uh, just as described, a piece of the plaque seems to have been kicked under the bench and forgotten. Take a piece of the plaque. Is it, oh, okay. Why is it still? Why are you still shining? Who knows? Center. Wedged under the tree's forking roots lies a jagged piece of stone. Take it! And then the southeast corner? Go. Hmm? Is it that? Buried beneath a heaping, uh, a heaping of snow, you finally manage to find a hunk of stone. That looks like the last piece of the plaque. I'll have to reassemble them at the stag statue if I want to make sense of this. Oh, 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 oh. Am I going to need the restorative idol to do that? Or can I just put the pieces in? The nobles of the court seem to have nothing but time on their hands. Right, right, right. You snap the broken chunks of marble back into place. Despite some marring on the surface, you can read the plaque quite clearly. The buck and the stag, a tale of two princes. Only one destined to be rightful, uh, to be the rightful heir, to be rightful the heir and ruler. 
king will be revealed by the touch of the truest crystal flower. Looks like the stag is trying to cut his dear brother out of his birthright. Wonder what's the business with the crystal flower? The buck knows his way around the garden. Perhaps he'll have some idea. Flicking his ears, the young gardener puts his uh, pruning shears down as you approach. Hello again. Lovely day for a walk in the hedge maze. Granted, you don't get lost. Say, you wouldn't happen to know anything about a crystal flower, would you? Crystal flowers? Why, they're very, very rare. It's said they only grow in a cave to, at the highest peak of the mountain. According to legend, the truth of one's heart is refracted in the facets of each frosted petal. Why do you ask? No reason. I just thought one might make a nice gift for your brother's big day. Hey, you're right. That's a brilliant idea. What better gift from the quartz, uh, from the quartz gardener than a beautiful crystal flower? Oh, but the trek up the mountain is perilous. I don't know if I have what it takes. Nonsense. I was heading up that way anyways. You just stay close behind. Really? You help me? Well, all right. What are we waiting for then? Meet me out by the slopes and we'll get underway. I love him. I love the buck. <laughs> Big ol' sweetie! Okay. Let's go! Yeah, I think we're gonna have this finished today, which is kind of exciting. By the slopes, I assume that's north. Give me those peppers. Eat. Okay. Here? No. No. Where? Where is our buddy? Oh, there he is! You see the buck hiding behind a bush, anxiously waiting, uh, anxiously watching something up ahead. What's the matter? Did you get cold feet already? Shh! They'll hear you! Look! Through the pine boughs, you can make out figures moving across the snow. They're covered in warm pelts and carrying sharp-looking spears. The royal trappers keep my brother's court supplied with furs, but they've been out here for so long they'll hunt anything that moves. It would be a shame if those antlers of yours ended up as someone's trophy. Uh, trophy. Wait here and let me deal with them. Alright, be careful. <coughs> Sirs. Mm. Oh! They angry. Touch of cold! How do I make this? We only have one item left to uncover. Need bottled despair and metamorphosis elixir. Need dryad fruit. So I need some of these. Uh, let's go ahead and make a couple of them. And touch of despair, I need some weird water. Which we can get from graveyard? I could just make it, but I think it's... I think it saves us ingredients. So I guess, what, what does it take to make weird water? Aside from regular water. Oh, we've got the supplies for it. We might as well just get some regular water then. Um... Where is... There is... Alright, what else do I need? Dryad fruit. Um... Dryad fruit and weird water? Oops, that's not what I wanted to look at. That seems to be the case. Alright. So we can just go to the forest. And that should be... We should be able to get everything that we need there. Because I need some more clay so we can get uh, a jar. <laughs> so we can get the water. Um... And there are dryads here that we could set on fire to get their fruits. 
Wonderful. I think I'll only make a single touch of coal to start with. So I don't know if you need multiples or not. I'd imagine not. I don't know. We'll see. Let's go ahead and get much clay as possible. We're always short on clay. Set some dryads on fire. Like you do. <laughs> they don't mind it. Definitely doesn't hurt them or anything. <laughs> Alright, where are they? There's one. There are two or three in this area. I want to say there's just two dryads here. I guess I could look. Um, what am I doing? Nope, just the forest. Okay. Unfortunate. Makes sense, but it's still unfortunate. Okay. Dryad, Dryad, found him. Bottle of despair. And then we can make our dang touch of cold. No, we can't because I need a frostling snow. And to do that, I need one of these. Thank goodness I have enough supplies for that. Um, okay, let's go blow up a tiny little snow boy. Like you do. There we go. Um, and that's enough for the touch of cold. Great. There's our stag buddy. We've done it. You glance at the buck hiding safely behind a tree at the far side of the camp. Making a raven's call, you signal for him to join you. The buck picks his way through the frozen trappers. Are, are they going to be okay? I am going to take a screenshot because he's so pretty. You might catch a case of the sniffles. Nothing a nice warm, uh, nice warm bowl of soup won't fix. Come along now. We're still a ways away from Mountain Peak. I know a way up. I'll meet you ahead. Come join me when you're ready. Okay. Alright, grab, grab that. It's time to do a big old loot on stuff. Catch it. We're here. Is there anything else that we can get? No. That's fine. 
Great. Let's get out of here. Hello? <gasps> goats! Mountain goat! Shag your cousin of the familiar goats? I love them. I was looking for something to climb on. I love them. What is this? Small geyser. Hi, buddy. Before you, uh, before you stands a looming rock face. Not even the most determined climber could hope to scale it. Thought you said you knew a way up to the peak? Well, you see, this is the Great Geyser. When the air is cold enough, water erupting from it freezes solid. Thought it might give us something to climb up? You look into the dry crater at the bottom of the sheer cliff. I don't see much eruption, uh, erupting happening down there, also. Rip it and rip it. Forgot I had a soda over here. Um, uh, it's been dormant for a few seasons now. Kind of hoped we'd get lucky. I don't trust any luck that I don't make myself. Take a moment to ponder your situation. Why the small geysers nearby frequently spew steam up into the frosty air? I suppose these other water spouts all draw from the same underground source. I think you're right. They started popping up shortly after the great geyser fell silent. Then I wager if we plug them all up, we'll be able to make that big one blow its top again. Plug them? With what? You turn your attention to the bleeding mountain goats, digging for lichen nearby. Those frosty beasts look to be about the right di uh, diameter. Maybe I can coax some of them into position. What are we doing? Excuse me, what are we doing? Ma'am? I need to make a goat perch. How do I make a goat perch? That is our final, that's our final <laughs> object. Great. Um. God, we're gonna need so much garbage. Steamed goat time. How many holes do we need to plug? One, two, three. Okay. Are we ready to steam some goats? Um. Uh, put men in goats? Or men in holes? <laughs> We don't have enough- I don't know that there are enough men here for us to put into holes. We are out of a rope, and this is tragic. Men in holes, understood. Go. No men in This is why I was concerned, okay? Listen. I was worried, and I needed the clarification. I am less worried now. <laughs> I would love to put men in holes, but as we know, I don't put men in holes. It's just, it's not, it's not the done thing. You don't do it. No matter, no matter how much other people tell you. It's not how it's done. I gotta go to the forest. I need, well, I guess I don't need to go to the forest. What else do we need for this? Water. I need milk. I need milk and dragonfly wings. So we need to go to the swamp, it sounds like. Which is fine, because I think I can get our reedy twine in the swamp. Great. Sorry. Let's also pick up some thistles while we're here. We do need bait sticks. Which is fine. We have so many sticks now. Mosquito, you're getting too close. Right. Well, that's more than enough wings. <laughs> Not even an issue. We have more than enough bug iker as well. Ooh, this. Uh, 
Um, what else do we need? We need the reedy twine. But we'll need three of these. Which we don't have enough of at the moment. No, I just need two of No, I need three. Two. I need two. Because we already have one magic paste. Helps to know what you're doing. Um. Right. What do I need for the lures? Just reedy twine. Okay. This is fine. It's all fine. Why is it being such a pain to find? There it is. Great. I just want all of the twine, please. Please and thank you. Thank you and please. some. I like it when they give me two of everything <laughs> and not just one. Please give me multiple drops. You're not gonna. Alright. Understood. I see how it is. But that's okay because we can do two more of those so that we can get doing the lures. One, two, and three. And now we just need two things of milk to the fields. Not to the forest. To the fields. Now we can make the last of the pieces that we need. I'm just gonna make one for now. No, I'm gonna make all three. Let's just make all three. <gasps> I need one more thing of cobblestone. Tragic. Here I was thinking we've been doing so good about getting as much of that as we have. To be fair, we have. We're, we're just short one, but that's so annoying. Great. We have all of the perches that we need. <laughs> go into the passage, let's go! Let's go! we get there? <laughs> That's the real question. How do we get there? Oh, oh, I don't, oh, 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 getting, stu getting stuck on, on fish. It's fine. Alright, are you ready, goats? I don't know if this is correct. Did I really only need the one? What happens if they touch? 
touch it. Goat lures for forever. With the plump bodies of brain goats clogging up the small geysers, the earth beneath your feet begins to grumble. The mountain goat's eyes go wide as the pressure builds beneath them. No other outlet, the steam rushes towards the only opening left. With a deafening boom, the long dormant geyser erupts, sending its great sphere of water high into the air. Um, as the deluge reaches its apex, ice crystals begin to form in the mist, twinkling as they hang in the air. Bit by bit, they begin to build on each other, forming larger and larger crystals, until it forms a great column of ice, rising all the way up towards the mountain peaks. Ha! <laughs> I can't believe it worked! Last one to the top is a spotted fawn! To the ice peak! We have put goat in a hole. Unfortunately for the goats. You stand at the mountain's peak, buffeted by wind and snow. Now then, where is this crystal cave you spoke of? I... I'm not sure. I think it should be just up ahead, but in this blizzard I can hardly see my own nose. Buck jumps behind you, pointing into the frigid fog. Wait, what was that? You squint into the galing winds, unable to see anything but white. Probably just another mountain goat. I wouldn't be so sure. When I was little, my brother told me stories of the snowkin who lived up here. He said if I ever wandered or went up the mountain, the snowkin would blow a great blizzard down on me. He said they'd turn me around and give me false directions until I got lost and froze solid. It sounds to me like these snowkin might be some kind of guardian spirits. And if they're aiming to keep people away from something, then surely they'll know where that something is. I have a notion to find it our way as they do, but it will take a considerable quantity of their essence. That that sounds dangerous. I'll just stay put then. I know better than to wander blind in a snowstorm. That's a lot of snowmen. That is a lot of snowmen. Ooh, hi! I need a melting pot for the snowkin. Holy shit, they're fast. Uh, I'm gonna need to catch... We did pack twigs! Look, look, we have like 30-some twigs. We are set. They say don't go north, we go north. Facts, though. Um, we just need to take out some... We got 40 twigs. Listen, we are doing great on twigs. Not doing so great on... Uh, on, on quicker work. Greedy, greedy twine. You know what? That's okay. We don't need it. Let's get us some, uh, some red feathers. I'm sure it's gonna be just fine, Fruity. Don't worry about it. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Did I need two for a melting pot? I think I did.
that should be enough for us to, in theory, make at least three melting pots if we need them, right? Is going good. Good. All right, let's let's go melt some snow kin. I thought that didn't work for a second and I was going to be so upset. Um, yeah, we aren't putting men in holes, but we are putting... We are putting goats in holes now. They're safe and fine. Goats are fine. Goats definitely didn't blow up. They're fine. sure you're not supposed to put men in hole actually listen i'm pretty certain that i am going the wrong direction well yeah i'm pretty sure that that's not where i'm supposed to be where is this other snowkin hey buddy would you like to come out and attack me um it happens. Uh, excuse you. His poor little Tom Tom. It's fine. Oh, hi. Okay, what am I supposed to do with these? Hey, Buck, I have them. It will require some icy in uh, interrogations. We have them. Let's go. Pile of mystical snow at the Buck's feet and shield it from the howling winds. Flakes drift in the air like icy glitter. Oh, come on, then. I'm getting chilly. You brought the snow drift with a muttered invocation. Despite the chaotic storm, the snow crystals swirl into an icy ribbon and slowly trace a line up the mountain peak. There it goes! That must be the way to the crystal cave. He takes off after the trail like a shot. You pike up your skirt and do your best to keep up in the dense snow. It is time, shall we? His face falls as you arrive at another sheer cliff don't understand. The snow stops here, but there isn't anything more than rocks. Did the snow can mislead us? Are we lost? I don't want to freeze solid. This is no dead end. Look. He gestured to the cliff where the eddies of swirling snow quickly gather. Within moments, the entire wall of rock is buried under fresh white powder. You reach out a clawed finger and touch the pure snow. It melts away to reveal a glittering opening in the snow. The crystal cave. You did it! Let's go in before we freeze to death. I'm certain the crystal flower must be inside. Let's go! Oh dear, look at all- Not dear. Oh dear, look at all these flowers. I didn't think there'd be so many. I'm gonna pick a whole bouquet. You stop the impetuous youth with a young- A quick tug and mutter beneath your breath. Dear God. <laughs> Hold on. The prophecy mentioned the, uh, the one true crystal flower. These other flowers must be a deception meant to trap foolhardy would-be kings. Prophecy? What are you talking about? Uh, I only mean to say that we should find the best single flower for your brother's coronation. Good point. Quality over quantity. Uh, I think I see just the right one over here. It's this one. It's perfect. Just look at the refraction of the petals and the frosting on the leaves. Oh, but I seem to have forgotten my pruning shears back at the castle. Would you do the honors? I don't want to damage it. Oh, I'll do it. Let's go. You snip the brittle stem of the flower, careful not to touch it directly. Prophecies can be nasty stuff to stick your fingers in. Buck holds the flower aloft, inhaling the blossom's magical aura. Wow, it smells just like powdered snow on fresh pine trees. The moment is interrupted by the shrill cries of aristoc aristocrats clamoring against each other. I found them! Over here, my lord! Uh-oh. In a rush of colorful fabrics and fancy hats, you find yourself surrounded by nobles. The stag steps out from their midst, looking irate. After everything I've done for you, this is how you repay me, brother? The young prince blinks in confusion. What are you doing here? Have I offended you somehow? 
Surfer, you thought you could slip off when I wasn't looking and steal the crown from me? You think I don't know about the prophecy of the crystal flower? Why does everyone keep talking about a prophecy? I picked this flower as a gift for you, brother. Fool, only the king can choose the true crystal flower, and you are not the king. Stag reaches down at his feet and plucks the closest flower. See? Only I can... Now he's a crystal boy! Stag never finishes his sentence, his defiant pose forever impri uh, imprisoned inside solid ice. Never mind, now he's an ice boy! Oh, my brother! What have you done? You give the mystified buck a reassuring pat on the back as the nobles gather closer. The true king has been revealed indeed. King? You mean me? You are the prince after all! And I suppose that prophecy was pretty clear. Magic flowers are seldom wrong about this sort of thing. And if you tend to your kingdom with the same care you tend to your garden, you'll do just fine. The ring of nobles cr uh, crowd around the buck. You know, I never cared much for that stag myself. The new ruler will shake things up a bit. You excuse yourself as they bow and praise the confused lad. Long live the king! Passing the frozen stag, your eye catches on something sticking out of the permafrost. You reach down and pick out a shard of translucent ice, careful not to cut yourself on the sharp edges. Despite the warmth of your palm, it does not melt. The soul of the stag. We've done it. We have collected all the souls. The souls of the stag, hawk, hogs, and wolf rattle inside your uh, pack like angry insects. That's the last of these villains. Now it's time to put an end to this wretched business with the goat. Let's go! We have done it. Okay, time to go do the thing. Oh! It, it, just, it just sent me right back to where I need to be. Great. Also, my bangs are in the way. Goat! 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 Time to wake up the maiden. Gotta pet the goat. Gotta pet the goat. Good, good goat. I love you, goat. Goat paws the floor with a cloven hoof. You've returned. I was beginning to grow impatient. I would have thought patience to be one of your strong suits. But don't fret. I have brought you the last of your souls. Delicious, are they not? You know what to do. Trying to wait an offering. Get that golden feather. Shimmering sensations of the hawk wash over you. The nib of a quill scratching on parchment. Coins clinking. The sharp snap of a closing padlock. Get that greasy gristle. Your eyes water at the smell of the hogs. Grunting swine and buzzing flies. A lever falls onto a wooden block. Blood. Bone. Meat. Royal crystal. A chill runs through your fingers and stag sockets into the wall. Condescending laughter. Schemes in the snow. Pride. Arrogance. Hubris. Wolf bang. Your mind sinks into shadow in the presence of the wolf. Soft footfalls padding through dried leaves. Hot breath. Big eyes. Sharp teeth. The collected souls vibrate with incandescent intensity. They seem to melt into their recesses, boiling away into tiny pinpricks of starlight. Soon, nothing remains of them except twelve smoldering scorch marks on the stone wall. Ah, well done! That's that! Our contract is fulfilled! It was a pleasure doing business with you. Hang on, what about your end of the deal? You said you would return my memories to me. Did I? Well, perhaps I misspoke. You never really had any to begin with, my dear. What are you talking about? I just don't remember them. I woke up... Are we the maiden? And met me? Yes, that sounds about right for your very first memory. What? But you told me that I brought the sleeping maiden to you. That I asked you to save her soul. Oh, what I meant is to say is that she came to me. She asked me to save her own soul. But it's so very easy to get confused. You, her, really. What's the difference? Dawning realization creeps over you like ice water. Her life was cut short, whether by the wolf's fangs, or the hog's cleaver, or under the weight of a dozen other wrongs, I do not know. But in desperation, she called out to me, so we struck a deal. I would save her soul in exchange for theirs. One for twelve. 
But it's not like I could let her go and collect them herself. She needed to stay here, you see, as insurance. So, so what then? You created me, is that it? To collect those souls on her behalf? Well, I should say that she created you. Snipped off a piece of herself to do it. It was all worked out in the contract, of course. And now that contract is fulfilled. Hand out nicely for everyone, I'd say. So if you, by which I mean she, ever need to get out of another bind, don't hesitate to give me a shout. Ta-ta for now. The room fills with a flash of blinding light. You blink and the goat is gone, leaving only a goat-shaped hole in the world. Slowly, you turn to face the sleeping maiden. You feel sluggish and heavy. You take a strange step towards the gilded coffin. Your legs snap like dry twigs and you crumple to the floor. No! Sorry. The cauldron is the last to fall. It resounds with a hollow clang as it bounces off the ground. Hold on, I need a second. I mean, it makes sense, but I love- but I loved Cauldron Witch! Oh! Slowly open your eyes and see the vaulted ceiling of the- of the hall. You raise your hand to touch the clear crystal surface of the gilded casket. The glass lid slides open effortlessly and you swing your legs to sit up. The marble floor is smooth and cold under your bare feet. You stoop down to pick up the familiar metal cauldron. Slowly, memories come back at its touch. We were the hot busty lady. We were the hot witch all along. But I like, but I liked Cauldron Witch. Aww. Okay, but can we wear the cauldron all the time? Also, just gonna, just gonna screenshot that real fast. I mean, I get that they were the same person, and that's fine. I really liked that. That was a good game. Thanks for playing Witchwood. Just, I'll let the, we're gonna let the credits roll. Cause that was, that was very good. That was a very good game. Um. I like I'm like actually a little teary eyed <laughs> about about Cauldron Witch. Uh I really enjoyed this. That was wonderful. From like start to finish. Um good game. Would recommend, even though we all know like what the secret is now, would still recommend people give it a give it a play if they uh if they liked it. Or generally just check out what other stuff the this dev group is doing devs are called alien trap um does not no they do have other games out oh they did a pothion okay i haven't played a pothion a ton I played a little bit of it and i liked it Cauldron Witch is hot musty lady now. It's fine. I mean, they're both super dope and I'm here for it, but like, I don't know. As a, as somebody who identifies as a hedge witch, <laughs> fucking loved Cauldron Witch. Here for her. That is, those are my goals as I get older, is to just slowly become a Cauldron Witch. <laughs> that was a good game, though. I really liked it. I'll probably play it every once in a while just to like I don't know, chill out. <laughs> As a hot busty witch, I do aspire to become a cauldron witch. <laughs> it's the hot busty witch to cauldron witch pipeline. It's a it's a whole thing. Don't even worry about it. Um No, but just oh that was really good. I don't really have anything, like, negative to say about it. I wish that some of the... Right? Cauldron Witch is just a... Is just a step away from Knife Grandma. Maybe, like, an offshoot. Knife Grandma being the umbrella term. Cauldron Witch being a specific type of Knife Grandma, maybe. Um. But yeah, my only, like... 
The only negative I have about it is just that some of the amounts of uh, um, items was weird. Some of the balancing was a little off there, but it wasn't that bad, honestly. It didn't, like, ruin the experience for me. Um, like, that was delightful from start to end. And it got me a little teary. So, you know, that if that brings, if that gives it any sort of an endorsement. <laughs> that was precious and I loved it and I'm sad that it's over um but all good things must come to an end and we're we're, we're ending early I wasn't expecting this to end early that's fine not twig grandma not twig grandma um so yeah I guess on Wednesday we will start what is it chicken police uh, which Allie so kindly gifted to me. Um, it is a a, uh, noir style point and click adventure, I think? Um, but everyone is an animal of some sort. It looks really cool. The art is really neat. Um, and I'm here for it. I'm excited about it. So we're gonna start Chicken Police on Wednesday. Um, yeah, that's about all I got for now, I guess. Um, I'll be back this evening at 6 p.m. I mean, look, look, it's a buddy cop noir adventure. They're definitely gonna address how shitty cops are. That's what, that's what noirs are, even if they don't actively acknowledge it. It's gonna be great. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Plus, they're chickens. Come on. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'll be back this evening at 6 p.m. Uh, with more Evil Within. Uh, I'm excited about that. I've been enjoying that. But yeah, um, shall we find someone to raid into? Do, 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 do. There are the raid messages. I should see who we have online. Lots of people! Holy butts! Alright. Give me a second so I can actually see who's here. Um. So we've got the Hot Cross doing some Dead by Daylight. I've got Nams doing some Fortnite. Angry Barman is doing a Nuzlocke for Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green. Uh, Uncanny Queers is playing It Takes Two. Lubug is doing a co working stream. Emmageddon is doing some Spyro, and Ghost Panda is doing some Minecraft. Uh, any of those sound good? Anyone have any recommendations, mayhaps? I'm trying to think of who I want to see. And I have no strong preferences right now. <laughs> Angry's doing a Nuzlocke. We want to go say, say hi to Angry? We can do that. Let's go! I do love me a good good Nuzlocke run, honestly. Um, just because they can be extremely harrowing for the person playing, and that's funny to me. Um, Alright, we'll go say hi to Angry. Uh, take care of yourselves. I love y'all. Um, yeah, like I said, I'll be back later, later this evening with some more Evil Within. We do like to see streamers suffering here. We're fans of that. <laughs> Anywho, take care of yourselves. I'll see y'all later. Have a good, good rest of your day. Did I set this up properly? I did. Great. <laughs>